Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can debug any Python application running on Kubernetes in about 60 seconds using all open source tools. We'll be using Visual Studio Code and the Robusta.dev troubleshooting platform for Kubernetes. As setup, you just need to install Robusta.dev on your cluster using Helm, and that's it. There's no need to do any setup on your Python application or restart it or do anything in advance. As you can see over here, I have a Python application running. Python debug me is the name of the pod. And I'm going to jump over to, over to the robusta.dev wiki and I'll copy from over here the command that we use to trigger the automated debugging workflow. So let me copy that. And I'm just going to replace the pod's name with the name of my own pod. And the namespace is the same, it's default. Let's run that. That will take about 60 seconds to run. In the meantime, I'm going to set up Visual Studio Code. I have my project open. I want to go here to run add configuration. I'm going to set up a new debugger configuration, but I'm missing the Python extension for Visual Studio Code. So I'll just click here. Let's install that. You can see here the program that I'm debugging. It's very simple. I think I hit space by accident. It just prints hello all the time in an endless loop. By now, the Python debugger should be all set up. Behind the scenes, what's going on is that robusta.dev is connecting to that Python pod and it's attaching a debugger to the existing process. This is very similar to what happens in Visual Studio Code and PyCharm if you use the attach to existing process option. It's just the Kubernetes equivalent of that. Okay, I can see here that the instructions for setting up the debugger are present in my Slack channel. So I'm going to go over to the Slack channel that I set up when installing robusta.dev. And it tells me here the exact command I have to run to port forward so that VS Code can connect within the cluster. I'll run that. And it tells me here that in VS Code, I should do a remote attach to localhost and port 5678. Those are actually the defaults, so that's very easy. I'll click again, add configuration, and I'll choose remote attach. I'll accept all the default options. This generates a launch.json file, so I don't have to do anything. And now I just go over here to run and debug, and I hit start. Right away, you can see that I'm capturing here the debug output from this program. I can, of course, uh, add breakpoints. I'm not going to do that. Often you want to actually be able to debug something without stopping the program. So I'm going to use a Visual Studio code feature called log points. And I just put in here some message. This is I. And in swirly brackets, I can put in the variable that I'd like to print. And right away, I can see these messages from the debugged application. And it's not stopping the application. So this is very useful if you ever have to debug something in a production or production like environment. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was useful. In future videos, I'll cover other topics like Python memory leaks on Kubernetes using CPU profilers, and how to debug and profile other programming languages. Of course, if there's another topic that you'd like me to talk about, then please send me a message on YouTube or Twitter or any other medium. Thank you and happy debugging.